Long time ago, before the human people were put on the world, other animals were created. The bobcat and elk, deer, cougar, fish were put into all the waters. And in that time, they could talk to one another. They had a common language. And they had villages across the land. But as a part of the creation, there were giants. And they didn't want to live side by side with the animal people. There came a time when they started to eat the animal people. And that giant was called Nuwuzoho. And he would carry a big uh, stone bowl on his back. And that bowl was for grinding the people. You could hear him coming like thunder. And everybody would run into hiding. The only one that would be smart enough to destroy Nuwuzoho is a Idza, a coyote. So he went and gathered sagebrush to make a fire. And he got it going really hot, big plumes of smoke to draw Nuwuzoho's attention. The ground was shaking, and he walked upon him. Aren't you afraid of me? I'm going to eat you for supper. The coyote says, well, I'll tell you what. We'll have a contest of strength. Uh, one of us will crawl in the bowl. Whoever smashes the other one up will win. So he crawled up on the edge like he was going to crawl in there. And then he said, oh, look over there. There's smoke going up. There's some more people. And so the Wuzzaho turned around to look, and Coyote took off his fur and threw it in the bowl. Then he jumped down. And he had a hole dug. He grabbed a sagebrush next to it and pulled it on top of him. And when the Wuzzaho turned around, that's not smoke, that's a cloud. Oh, I must have been deceived. And he made his voice go inside by his fur. You're first, you get three chances, and if you don't break me to pieces, then it's be my turn. So Nuzo lifted up the rock as high as he could, and then he throwed it down with all his might. And Coyote said, oh, gee, that feels real good on my back. Nuzo got mad, and he lifted it up, and he hit again. Oh, that was right on my neck. My neck was sore. He said, that felt good. And Nuzo got mad and lifted it up, and he jumped up in the air high as he could jump, and then he came down. He hit in the bowl and heard that bowl just crack really loud. Coyote says, oh, grind it some more. That's where that itchy spot was on my back. That feels good. And oh, and Nuzo just, he was infuriated. Then Coyote said, okay. I didn't die, so it's my turn. The coyote says, I can smell smoke. I think that is smoke. To draw Nuwuzoho's attention. So Nuwuzoho turned around to look again, and Coyote got out of the hole and jumped in there and put on his fur, all tattered. He said, you have to get in there now. It's your turn. And so he crawled in the bowl, hunkered down, and Coyote picked up that pestle and threw it down with all his might. He called on his powers jumped as high as he could and brought that rock down in the fatal blow. And while he was agonizing and kicking around in that bowl, he kicked out that place we call Fort Rock. That's the top of the bowl. That was where he rolled this way and that way and kicked. And his tears made all those lakes around there. And there's no fish in there. All those lakes are too salty for fish. And while he was bleeding, there's spots there where there's red dirt. And the animal people that lived there were saved and continued to live there clear to this day. And his body still laying there today.